Hey guys! Today I am going to try something new. So as I was doing my kind of curly girl videos, something that popped up again and again, like many people mentioned this to me, is that I should probably try doing a rice water rinse. Rice water rinses are very popular amongst the curly hair community and they are supposed to be wonderful for your hair and to really promote kind of strength and hair growth, which sounds honestly very good to me. I could use a bit of strength and hair growth. <laughs> Pretty much what it all boils down to is extracting the nutrients that are in rice into a volume of water and then using that on your hair to either rinse it or use it as a hair mask. So the process of making the rice water is very simple. There are a few different ways you can do it. I chose the kind of simplest method. I just popped a tablespoon of rice into a jar, then I added a cup of water on top, closed off the jar and left this to stand for at least a day. So here we are. That clip I just showed you was from yesterday and this is my result today. So I have a jar of milky water stuff with rice on the bottom. And since I have left this out for a day, that means that my rice water is fermented. Fermentation is a wonderful process which enhances all kinds of nutrients and adds new things into fermented products. I love fermenting food myself, um, but I had never fermented something to go in my hair before. So that is quite an interesting process. The magic ingredient in this, or kind of nutrient, I guess, is supposed to be inositol, which is a carbohydrate that is supposed to actually repair damaged hair. And I have heard it called a dupe or alternative to the Olaplex products, which sounds pretty amazing in my opinion. And the other thing that is amazing about rice water is that it is a protein treatment for hair and protein treatments really help to strengthen the hair. They're gonna fill up the inside of the hair so that it is I guess you could say made whole again after it's been damaged. And since this is fermented, that means that it is actually acidic and acidic things are great for hair. You've probably all heard about apple cider vinegar rinses for hair that really smooth out the hair, make it nice and shiny and remove a little bit of the friction of the hair. So this is supposed to work much in the same way. Now I am hoping to reap all the benefits because I can use all of them. My hair can use definitely use a bit of strengthening, but also shine and smoothness. I am hoping that this works similarly to the mayonnaise mask I used to use because that also contains protein and you know acidic components and that used to work miracles on my hair. I don't use mayonnaise masks anymore since I've you know gone on a plant-based diet. This seems like a very nice alternative. It's really easy to make, really budget-friendly, um, takes next to no effort. So I am really excited to hop in the shower and give this a try. The thing I want to do is just wash my hair as usual and then instead of my conditioner I'm going to pour this over my hair and I'm going to pour it everywhere. It's also supposed to help with dandruff, which is great because I recently noticed my scalp around the front here has been super dry and flaky and I have definitely been experiencing some dandruff. I always had some, but it's getting worse right now. So I'm just gonna pour it all over my head and I'm gonna pop my hair in a shower cap. I'm gonna leave it on for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and see what happens, I guess. One thing about fermented products though is they tend to kind of smell in a very particular way. It's not too bad. It pretty much just smells like rice, but more sour. If the smell does bother you, by the way, you can add a few drops of essential oil or some citrus peel into the rice when you leave it out um, to ferment. So I'm gonna strain out the rice, hop in the shower, and then I'll be back. Two things I forgot to mention. First of all, you can use any type of rice to do this. And the second is if your rice water is fermented, then you should dilute it before you use it on your hair because it is pretty potent stuff. Yeah, mine is only a little bit fermented, so I'm only going to dilute it a little bit. While I'm waiting in my shower cap, I think I should mention that for some people, their hair can come out dry um, from this mask. I believe that has to do with your hair's porosity or how much protein is already in there. So if that happens, just go over with a little bit of oil or apply a hot oil treatment or use a kind of more fatty and strong hair mask with the rice water when you're using it and scale back the frequency with which you use it because not all hair types need this. Um, equally often. All right, I'm back and this is my result. Now, okay, first impression, I can't tell a massive difference, but I have to say my hair feels very smooth and much more slippery than it usually is. And I also have to say my ends do feel more sturdy in a way, if that makes sense. And my hair is definitely soft. I can't see a lot of shine. I don't know about you, I don't know how this translates on camera. Yeah, the shininess isn't 
there as much as I would hope. But I'm thinking for that I might need to ferment my rice water a little bit longer. So maybe two days instead of just one. And it hasn't even been a full day, honestly. If I ferment it a little bit longer, the acidity will go up. I'll enhance the kind of shine bringing properties of it. So far, I have to say I'm very satisfied. It, my hair feels really nice. Biggest thing probably is that my scalp is not flaky or itchy or dry at all. And that is amazing. <laughs> I'm very, very happy about that. Now, this is definitely another one of those long-term things where you only really get to see the results after you've been using it for a while. So I do intend to keep on using this for a little bit longer and um, see what happens. I am really curious about the hair growth stimulating properties of this um, hair treatment as well. And if it just makes my hair stronger and it stops my scalp from itching and flaking, I'll be super happy as well. So yeah, so far so good. First impression is great. I do think I'm gonna go over my hair with a few drops of homemade hair oil just to be sure. I have a recipe for the oil that I use right now up on my blog. It's a DIY kind of mixture to add a little bit more shine. I did want to ask you guys if you have any experiences with rice water rinses as a hair treatment, if you have any amazing success stories, or if it did absolutely nothing for your hair, I would love to hear all different opinions on this treatment. Yeah, do be sure to join the discussion down below. I'm really curious to learn about the different ways in which this is used. I will update you on this in the future, but for now, I think this is it. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content if you'd like to support me through patreon or my merch store there will be links in the description box below thank you so much for your support there will be another video here that you might also enjoy you can go watch next thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye